Hey guys, my name's Ben Hartley with uh, sixfigurephotography.org, and I just want to show you guys a quick little tip here on tagging, uh, tagging people, vendors, clients, yourself in your Facebook posts. And this is not as straightforward as I'm sure a lot of you have realized as it should be. It's actually kind of difficult to figure out, and it feels like Facebook changes it all the time. So I'm going to show you some tips on how to go about tagging everyone. And this is important because um, right now your reach, uh, your organic reach in Facebook is so low. Uh, it's like a one to 3% of your audience that's going to be seeing a given post. And this dramatically increases, um, increases your reach. And so you'll notice with this image here, we have 1,172 people who've re been reached by this image, which is going to be closer. You know, we have like a little over 7,000 who like us, um, closer to like a 16, 15, percent uh, reach for this post and you will notice when we go into it that we've tagged the florist here flowers on orchard lane we've tagged the bridal studio where she purchased the dress from we have tagged the bride and i recommend uh in order to increase your reach to tag uh the respective uh people in the wedding so rob the groom is a part of this as well as the photographer who took it ben adams and the photography studio okay these are all important things that do help to increase your reach um and again, Facebook just doesn't, I don't know, they just don't want you to do it. It's like the lamest thing ever. It should be so much more accessible, but it's not. So let's take a look. I'm going to post in a picture here. And because I'm a terrible speller, I've already had, uh, I've gone and written this out. I've spell checked it. I'm just going to paste in what I want to say. Another image from our shoot with some of Columbus's best wedding vendors. All right. So there we go. Let's say right here, um, I wanted to tag our model. So I would go ahead and write at Brie Gibson. Where's Brie Gibson? She's not coming up. What the heck? Okay. So I can't tag Brie Gibson as a client. What if I wanted to tag myself as the photographer at Ben Hartley? Okay. Well, that's Ben Hartley, but he seems to be a CPA. Uh, these other Ben Hartley, I want, I want to look at these Ben Hartleys, but they're not me. So I can't tag them. Uh, at this stage right here, um, who can I tag? Well, let's go ahead and try to tag, let's say, Sarah Jenks. See, she is the designer of the gown. Sarah Jenks. You can tag Sarah Jenks. So what you're going to notice is businesses you can tag most often, <laughs> white of Dublin. There still are situations where you can't tag a business. All right. Um, can you tag your own business? See, this is where it gets interesting because you can't. Just kidding, you can. <laughs> Sounds very creative. Boom. Okay, tag your own business. Why not? Um, okay, one last uh, company here is going to be Posey. And this is where it gets interesting. So Posey, none of these, uh, that's the florist, none of these um, are the correct Posey. And so she's not coming up. Um, so why this is, uh, is going to be actually probably on her end. So some vendors um, have their settings set up where you can't tag them. Um, and so we, we can't do that. Luckily, I know the, the floral designer, and so I'll try to tag her, Amy Music. Okay, It's a beautiful name, but none of these are her. Okay, Well, let's move forward. And uh, what about a location, right? So let's do at 400 West Rich Suite. We've got the location there. So you notice at this point we can tag uh, vendors, okay? So we'll go ahead and publish. But what about the other people? What about like your bride? What about your groom? What about yourself as the photographer, okay? You couldn't do that, um, which is a really important thing for, uh, for any normal shoe, okay? It's one thing to tag the vendors. It's another thing uh, entirely to be able to tag the bride who is going to be your largest audience that's going to attract to this. So what you're going to do is right-click, on the image itself and do open link in new window. Boom. I have no clue why this works, but it works. We've opened the link in a new window and now we're gonna click tag and we'll click on our model and we'll type in Brie Gibson. Boom, there she is. Let's go ahead and uh, tag myself as the photographer and Ben Adams, the other photographer. This is awesome. We're like on a roll here. Also the florist we couldn't tag, but I know her personally. And so I'll type in Amy Music. There she is with her flowers. Um, this is looking great. And uh, I already tagged 400 West Rich as a vendor, but I th actually, we'll go ahead and do done tagging. I want to edit the location so it shows up as a location. So 400 West Rich 
is now it'll say it was taken at 400 West Rich. That's pretty cool. Um, ooh, the hairstylist. Let's tag the hairstylist. All right. Uh, oh, what happened? Let's go back. I must have clicked on the actual tag itself. Okay. So Lee Restivo, there she is. Um, am I missing anybody? I think I've got it all. Okay, so now we've actually successfully tagged everyone. We've tagged businesses, we've tagged individuals, we have uh, tagged the location, and uh, we are good to go. So we can go back here to our timeline, and uh, this, this post is currently pinned to the top. We'll go ahead and just take that off, unpin, let this image have its uh, heyday. Super cool. All right, so now uh, Stuntser Creative with Lee Restivo for others at Westrich. All right, you go into the image and you're going to be able to see everyone here. Now everyone's going to see these posts. Um, their audience is going to see them and it will dramatically increase uh, your reach. There you go, guys. Facebook fixed that. It's annoying. Um, thanks, everybody. Again, I'm Ben Hartley with SixFigurePhotography.org. If you want to check out more of, uh, of what we do, we just got some cool tips, got some good things going on over here at Six Figure Photography, and uh, you can check it out. Um, cool. Thanks. See you guys.